Mr. Delphin Ganapan is the global manager of the Global Environment Facilities Small Grants Program of UNDP. And uh, Delphin, uh, you know, looking at the results, which of them did you find most interesting, and, and how would UNDP in the Small Grants Program uh, make use of these uh, in your line of work? Um, well, the one that uh, strikes me as uh, quite important is the result that uh, says that the establishment of new protected areas should be given higher priority than economic aims. Uh, before becoming a global manager of the UNDP Jeff Small Grants Program, I was the Under Secretary for Environment of the Philippines. And this is the, the most difficult issue that we faced uh, all the time. You, you try to bias decisions for the environment, your economic managers is immediately your enemy. There's always a fight between eco economy and, and environment. And knowing that a lot of citizens are actually willing to give more support to environment, to protected areas, then the economic aims is something that uh, brings courage to, to government officials. When I was uh, in government, uh, when we know that the citizens are behind us, then we can take very difficult decisions. Uh, so it's, it's, it's very important that uh, we, we get uh, reports like this. Uh, uh, you, you begin to see that there's a mandate for making these this new policies. And in the Jeff Small Guns program, and also with the UNDP, we are strong supporters of what we call indigenous and community conserved areas and territories. Uh, so the protected areas actually that I, I, I look at here is more of the general protected areas because some of this uh, protection can come from areas that are not really, really legal protected areas where you exclude people. But there are many uh, indigenous and community conserved areas where people in fact are the ones that have succeeded in protecting uh, the environment. And um, uh, we have supported uh, uh, a lot of these types of, uh, of, uh, of, of efforts. And um, strategically, if you look at the, the size of the indigenous and community conserved areas and territories all over the world, it can easily double the size of uh, total protected areas in the world. And we therefore then meet actually many of our targets at a very low cost because the people themselves are already protecting these, uh, these, these areas. Uh, but, but David, let me, let me add that from the UNDP point of view, the one that really gets us excited is the process itself. Because this is an empowerment process. And if you take a look at the logo of the, of the UNDP, under that logo, you see empowered citizens. Yeah, that's, that's, what, uh, that, what, that's what we do. The process itself um, uh, creates a value more than the report. And uh, if we do this all the time, I, I see a, a point where a critical mass is created, especially if there's some kind of networking among those that got, got, got involved. And uh, we in the UNDP, especially through the Small Grants Program, where we can even help in terms of reaching the other grassroots where we have had support in terms of projects, it could really become a critical mass that eventually not only convinces in terms of the report, but convinces in terms of really a mass of people out there, citizens, uh, no? not, not, not only going to argue, but willing to fight and willing to say we will, we will put uh, more importance to environment than, than the economy because perhaps also the knowledge that the economy and the environment cannot be separated, that the economy depends on the environment. Maybe directly too. I mean, specifically to the way that SGP works. And the, I mean, how would you see this kind of process fitting in to the directly the sort of work that you're doing under SGP? Yeah. Well, in, in the UNDP right now, we have created already what we call a local pillar or a community group because uh, we've come to realize that unless you go to the grassroots, many of our environmental problems cannot be solved. Look at uh, biodiversity conservation. Look at ABS. All of this has to involve the community. And so in the Small Grants Program, we are creating networks at the, at the local level. We're creating uh, uh, knowledge management systems for the grassroots community. And in fact, it's where we see, uh, I, was, I was talking with uh, uh, worldwide uh, views, the possibility of an alliance, you know, or a, 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 
a cooperation or a partnership where uh, we can use our networks at, at the ground level and help increase the number of citizens that would be involved. And so what we're creating actually is not just uh, a set of ideas or, 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 or a, a, a survey, but actually uh, the, the critical mass of citizens that will, even after the activity, will argue with the governments and say that environmental protection is of utmost importance. And, and UNDP is uh, willing to support that. And uh, you know, if you find a, an, a, an appropriate way by which we can help, uh, we, we, we do want to, to be part of this effort.